Hello guys, welcome back to my video. Today I want to compare Amazfit T-Rex Pro's SpO2 and heart rate sensor accuracy versus real fingertip pulse oximeter. In this video I will use oximeter from Choice Med MD300 CN310. Is the oxygen saturation measurement on the Amazfit T-Rex Pro accurate enough and reliable in the era of the COVID-19 pandemic? How is the result? Let's check it out. Did you know, it's very hard to measure SpO2 at the wrist using smartwatch or smartband. You have to wear the smartwatch one finger away. You have to wear it very tight. No movement whatsoever while measuring. First the oxygen saturation test. In this SpO2 measuring test, I will do test three times and compare the results between Amazfit T-Rex Pro and the oximeter. And also I will do SpO2 test while holding my breath. As you can see in this test, both device showed exactly same SpO2 levels. Measure SpO2 again. This time the measurement of oxygen saturation, SpO2, on both devices showed slightly different results. On the Amazfit T-Rex Pro it shows 98%, but on Oximeter Choice Ahmed it shows 97%. 1% difference. Measure SpO2 again. Third time of measurement of oxygen saturation, SpO2, on both devices showed the exact same results. Okay the next test. Now I will do the oxygen saturation, SpO2, measurement test while holding my breath. What will happen? Okay, the result, both devices showed a decrease in oxygen saturation SpO2 levels when taking measurements while holding my breath. Comparing pulse rate, heart rate measurement results on both devices. As the result, both devices show almost the same number of pulse rate beat per minute. Time for conclusion. After the SpO2 measurement test was carried out on the Amazfit T-Rex Pro smartwatch, it can be concluded that the results of the oxygen saturation measurement are very close to the real fingertip pulse oximeter, Choice Med MD300 CN310. These results are obtained if we measure SpO2 on the T-Rex Pro with the correct procedure, wear the smartwatch one finger away from the wrist bone. In addition, we also have to wear this smartwatch very tightly. Because the SpO2 sensor on the T-Rex Pro is very sensitive. The slightest movement of the hand can interfere with the measurement. Real fingertip pulse oximeter shows measurement data faster than the Amazifit T-Rex Pro. Both for measurement of oxygen saturation, SpO2, and heart rate, pulse rate beat per minute. Speaking of heart rate measurements, both the T-Rex Pro and real oximeter show almost the same numbers with not so much difference. Are Amazfit T-Rex Pro reliable for measuring SpO2 and heart rate? Of course it is reliable but with many limitations. It would be better if you buy a real fingertip pulse oximeter with medical grade. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's useful. Stay sane and stay safe in era of the COVID-19 pandemic.